Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Ampro Engineering. I wanted to continue working on my WPL car here, and at this point you can see that I've made some headway. For example, I've installed these oil filled shocks. Now these are Traxxas, I think they're mini E-Revo shocks. They look fantastic. Unfortunately, they're too stiff. Uh, I've actually purchased aftermarket springs, and uh, never, I mean, they're, they're so close, but um, if this was heavier, I think it'd be okay, but the truck is very, very light. And as you can see, just lifting it on one side here is not doing what it should be doing. So this unfortunately tells me that I haven't found shocks that are capable of something this small. So I'm going to go ahead and put the stock springs back on. At this point, I'm just kind of over this car and I want to get it running. I'm also going to go ahead and throw the gearbox in. So let's go ahead and swap the shocks out for the originals. We've backtracked a little bit, but we now have shocks that... Uh, are, are more adequate to this vehicle's needs. Yeah, it's unfortunate that I couldn't get those oil filled ones working properly, but maybe in the future we'll find something a little bit better. What I want to do is swap this transmission, this is the standard one with the standard motor, for this two speed one. This is a WPL product, as we can see right here. That is the part number if you're interested. I purchased this off of Banggood, and here we have it. So it did come with a servo. I don't suspect that it's a particularly good servo, but it's going to be more than adequate for this application. The servo will be mounted here. Just once, I would love some instructions. All right, time for me to figure stuff out. The first thing we're going to do is pull this motor out. A little bit of analysis has shown me that I think this blank arm is the arm that's going to move the shift fork. So at neutral, it'll be in this position here. And then when you engage it, it should just push the shift fork up like that, but we'll see it when we actually put some power to it. There were a few screws in here. These, these silver ones here looked like the correct ones to hold the servo horn on, but they're too small a diameter. And this one here seemed to be the right diameter, but it was just too short. So I happen to have these, these are M2 self-tapping screws. Uh, these look like they are, but again, they were just too small to fit. And then to hold the servo in was just a couple of the larger screws that the servo came with in the little baggie. This should drop it. Oh, I also pulled the capacitor that was on the other motor and stuck it on this one here. So that should help any kind of noise. And this theoretically will drop in. I'm a little bit concerned because it doesn't look like it's going to fit with my, uh, my, sh my, my linkages here and it is not. It was either throw it out the window or bend these arms, so I did, and that went ahead and allowed it to fit just barely. But it is clearing, so that's going to work fine, and I did have to bend this one here an equal amount because bending these does decrease the length. So live for the first time with you, we're going to test this out. The transmission installation, once I altered the, the rear linkage, is fine. Servo goes down here in the back, and it really sits quite a bit lower than the old transmission, so your CG is going to be more improved, but you do have a little bit less ground clearance at the bottom. So let's turn the truck on. So there is our steering. And here is our shift linkage here. I think it needs, it does need some adjustment, but... All right, so let's go ahead and aim. Let's go give it some throttle. All right, the ongoing saga. We do not have second gear because it hits right there. Fortunately, that's the screw head. So and I think we have to trim the arm slightly because it doesn't have to go in very much. There's been a new development. I was trimming off this arm here and then I noticed, if you look at the servo mount right here, the screw is loose. Well, I went to go tighten it up and it simply spun. So that's awesome. This means the servo has got to come back off again. It just spins. So the plan here is to pull all this out, absolutely cover this in super glue, put it back together and let it cure. In trying to sort the transmission, I discovered that it's more important for the resting place of the servo horn for low gear should be horizontal like that. This means that you can either adjust the trim, which I suppose I could do, but it's just a lot easier to just set this thing back slightly further rear so that it doesn't overextend. And then you'll be all set. And now we can fine tune the trim if we need to. 
the glue should be all dry and we can drop this straight back in. All right, so now that it's all put back together for the 300th time, steering, throttle, and now we can engage at low range. That looks, that looks pretty slow. And high range. That's pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna put the body back on this thing and the wheels and tires and hopefully never have to deal with this again. Body's installed. Haven't really taken it for a drive yet, but that is the plan for the next couple days. I do have to say, however, that this project is done. You know, I, I was really hoping I could put some oil shocks in this and maybe a proper battery, which we have to order still. We'll just stuff that there, pretend that it's pretend that it's all good there. I really love the look of this truck. It's just that the uh, the amount of work that I've put into it, I don't entirely know if it's helped the truck at all. I mean, we'll see. Um, I don't want to get into the ins and outs of the whole project. We'll have a review of the whole truck later on. But as of right now, I'm uh, pretty excited to take this thing for a spin. I do have my light kit installed with proper taillights there, if you can see that. We'll do a review on those a little bit later on. Side markers all done, headlights. Again, I didn't really cover that in this video, turn signals in the front, but we'll uh, we'll cover those in an upcoming video. As of now, I think we're done and call this project complete. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time.